and welcome to my channel. Today uh, we're going to do a bright and colorful springtime look, probably with some graphic liner or silver. Yeah, you've all seen the thumbnail before clicking on this video, so you do know more than me at this point, because as usual, I'll, I don't have a face chart or anything of what I'm planning on doing. Anyway, I do know I'm going to start with some concealer. Charming, isn't it? Yeah, I'm going for concealer only today, because I don't know, like lately I've been feeling... Wow, this does not cover the it? Anyways, um, I'm gonna apply a second layer on that in a second. Anyway, but lately I've been feeling like it just looks better not to use a whole lot of foundation. I just prefer how my skin looks in real life um, if there's not a thick layer on it. So yeah, for that reason I'm just going for concealer today. Okay, so now I've reached the point of my skin but better. Um, without having a thick cake layer and now I'm just gonna immediately go on to prime move on to priming my eyelids because I want to do a Colorful look inspired by flowers because it's springtime and every single makeup I do right now is inspired by flowers Very original. I know being inspired by flowers in springtime, but I don't know like I I, I just really think Flowers are a good inspiration because they're so nice and colorful um, I know that's not everyone's cup of tea, by the way. I know there's also people who just don't feel secure with wearing very bright, bold colors in public. But I do think that, like, and for that reason, I mean, I do keep it balanced on my channel with, like, you know, more natural colored looks versus more bright looks every now and then. Um, but nevertheless, I do feel like you can get away with wearing bright colors as long as you feel confident about it. Like, I feel like whatever you're wearing, if you're wearing it like, okay, this is me, this is what I look like, and this is what I like, people aren't going to look at you weirdly. Um, so, you know, just, just own it, you know, own your look. Besides, it's still pretty quiet in most public places at this point, so <laughs> that's also, you know, actually a good opportunity to maybe step out of your comfort zone a little if that's something you would like. Now, for the colors, I'm going to use three different shades of yellow, which conveniently are all three in one palette. This is TBH Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And I'm just using quite a dense blending brush, so it picks up a lot of color, but it still blends it, you know. Because I want a sort of yellowish smoky eye, so I'm just applying this um, again, blended out at the outer edge of my eyelid. And just sort of spreading it inwards. And this is seriously the sort of color that reminds me of like the centers of flowers. And also of terrible stains on your shirt that you can't possibly ever get off again. But anyways, let's ignore that part. Um, it's a very pretty color. Perfect for the theme I'm going for. Now for the center of the eyelid, I'm going to go into a children's drawing of a sun yellow. No, really, it's like literally one of those true yellow colors that children usually use to draw the sun in drawings. I know that's a weird way of describing a color, but it's really the best explanation I can come up with. Uh, but yeah, it's going to go into the center of the eyelid, and I'm just going to blend it inwards and outwards and upwards, and just blend it, basically. Just make sure it merges nicely with the color right next to it. Now, for the palest shade of yellow, I'm going to use a pale shade of yellow yeah it's very surprising i know anyway this is going to go into my inner corner and i'm just going to blend this over the other colors to finish off the smoky effect at least on the top lid now for the bottom lid i'm just applying a darker shade of yellow and i'm doing this before my brow on highlight because i want to use the same brush but i don't want stray shimmers to be on my under eye yeah uh, but yeah don't be too difficult about this just Smudge it down there and you're good. Now for the highlight I'm just using a pale shimmer shade. Just a little bit of it. Then wiping off my brush. And then I'm just going to blend the edges of the smoky eye really really well. This part you just got to take your time for. Okay at this point I feel like... I don't know. Like my eye color looks really dark now because of the pale eyeshadow. I think this is a sort of look that really could do with some eyeliner. I have three black eyeliners. I have no idea which one I'm going to use. All I will use will be listed below the video in the description. I'm going to go decide. So I'm just going to go for a regular wing. Also, by the way, who else has spring cleaning vibes? I always thought that was just a weird thing that people talked about until I grew up. 
And now I'm suddenly the sort of person who's like, oh, the sun is shining and it's warm outside and I need to vacuum clean my floors thoroughly and clean my coffee machine and wash my car. To be fair, before I couldn't wash my car because I didn't have a car yet. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, like, oh, I feel like such a decent grown up. It's terrifying. Anyway, are you like that or is, or like, are you the type of person who always cleans her house thoroughly? Are you the type of person who never cleans her house thoroughly? Is it completely random with you or do you also just suddenly, suddenly feel like cleaning stuff? When the warmer weather hits, let me know. Okay, so it turned into a pretty thick eyeliner, but then again, who even expected anything else? Uh, but yeah, just gonna move on to a new pencil in the waterline now. You could totally leave it like this, of course, and just, you know, put on lashes, do the rest of your face, and just have a nice yellow smoky eye. But then again, why, on the other hand, wouldn't you make it unnecessarily complicated? Which is what we are going to do today, or at least I'm going to do it. Um, I just spilled silver powder all over my leggings, that's just fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to add silver powder in an eyeliner. Um, I have no idea what pattern I'm going to do, I'm just going to um, wing it. Now, just to be clear, if you don't have this Merlon product, you can always use, or whatever else, kind of like special effects thing. You can always just use silver eyeliner if you have that, or even an eyeshadow is really, really good. Um, yeah, anyway, just use whatever you feel comfortable using on your eyeballs, basically. What I'm gonna do next is just blend out the concealer, which was barely necessary. Powder it a little, and then do my face. Now to be clear, yes, I do intend to also add some lashes. Um, if you don't want to add falsies, it's totally fine to just go for mascara instead, obviously. But I do recommend always doing it after you've powdered your face, just because otherwise with the powder and all, you might actually just end up with white eyelashes. Which, you know, is not what we're going for today. By the way, one thing I like doing in real life is to just, um, instead of, you know, regular contour, it's just use a darker foundation powder on my contour zone basically. Gives a little bit of extra coverage but it also gives a really really nice natural contour effect. And because I don't have any clue as to what blush would look good with yellow eyeshadow, I'm just going to go for a peachy shade because that fits with anything. If you have a very strong opinion on what blush colors would fit with the yellow eyeshadow, then I'd love to know, so please do tell me. Then for the face, all that's left is some silvery highlight. Oh, and also the eyebrows, which admittedly I almost forgot. <laughs> eyebrows, everyone pretty much does their own way, so we're just gonna do them quick. Um, admittedly, I did actually tint them a little while back, like two days ago, so I barely had anything to do. So yeah, not very useful to show you that and bore you with it. Anyway, now it's time for lashes. You could go for big, you could go for small. I'm gonna go for small, um, pretty much outer corner eyelashes, because I still want to do house chores today and I don't want my lashes to get in the way. Basically, um, yeah, these particular ones are the Stunner by XO Beauty. Now, lastly, a laser counting setting spray, which we can also still apply, anyways. Uh, but I'm gonna do the lips now, and I was actually thinking of going for red at first because I want to do a warm shade to counter the coolness of the eye look because I'm more into warm tones, so they look better on me. Um, if you want to go for completely wearable, well, completely wearable, as wearable as possible, I would advise going for a nude. You could go for a red to make it more like high fashion is, high fashion is, 
Is it even a word? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go for a warm nude because I do want warm tones, but I also still want this to be wearable-ish. If a lipstick looks like this, you know it's a favorite color. Anyway, with the um, half demolished lipstick applied, all there's left to do is the aforementioned setting spray and we're done. And we're left with the final results. Um, yeah, by the way, one annoying thing about having bangs but also having a very strict skincare regime is the simple fact that my skincare makes my bangs go oily like a day after I've washed them, at least the ends of them, which is really difficult to fix with dry shampoo because this isn't oily. This is just skin cared. It's a small frustration in life of someone with bangs. You probably don't care about any of that. Anyway, the look turned out um, exactly what I envisioned. Bright, fun, not too difficult, but still a little bit out there with the lines. And yeah, I really hope you like it. Um, and again, if you want to wear more out there makeup, but you feel nervous too, just go for it. Because who cares what other people think? As long as you look like you want to look, and as long as you think you look pretty, that's all that matters. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please click the like button. It would really help me out because it makes YouTube, um, you know, suggest my videos more often to new people. I sometimes randomly trip over sentences. Anyway, um, yeah, and if you don't want to miss any future videos, you can always subscribe to my channel. I do a makeup tutorial at least once per week, and then a second time per week I do something else. Which can be a vlog, a nail art, or whatever else I can think of. Yeah, so anyways, for today, thank you very much for watching this particular video. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!